Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I have Turtle Wax's new product from their Hybrid Solutions lineup, the Ceramic Spray Coating. So I'm going to go ahead and if you guys follow my channel, you know I do a lot of tests on the hood of my Jeep. It's a lease, so I like to keep this thing spot on. I always strip the hood, I polish it, whatever it takes to get the thing stripped, and I do tests on new products, so the hood is always my tester. So as for the rest of the car, if you guys follow, you know it's coated. I've done many a test on it. Before we get too much into the video, I want to let you guys know that this is not a torture test. I'm going to show you how easy this is to apply. I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours, and tomorrow I'm going to go meet up with a friend of mine for a detail, and we're going to do, you know, the water beating and everything else on the hood. So that is what this is all about. Because personally, to me, I've done some torture tests. I've, you know, completed them. I don't think that they're very necessary because you're not washing your car with Dawn dish soap. You're not spraying a degreaser. Yes, you're going to get iron particles, you know, people breaking in front of you hard. That stuff's going to fly back. But other than that, you know, all those other chemicals you're never really going to use on your paint. So we're going to shake up the bottle as it says to before we apply and as you guys can see I'm waiting for the camera to focus it can be used on wheels glass and everything else it has SiO2 infusion and it repels water and contaminants and the funny thing about it was when I was doing a lot of research for it before I bought it I actually was looking at a review on their Facebook page of people asking questions and Turtle Wax, one thing that I respect that they said clearly as could be in the comment was if you're looking if you're looking at both products the hybrid solution ceramic spray coating which is comparable to ice seal and shine can last up to 12 months when applied per the directions we're not going to lie if you want a chemical resistant product ice seal and shine is your go-to but if you want the complete package from ease of use to durability to a high gloss shine hybrid solution ceramic spray coating is our pick and i have that right here on my phone and i respect that comment that's amazing i've used ice seal and shine it's great so let's get right into this and as i say in all my videos prep is key to anything guys so as i just said i decontaminated this whole hood with clay i polished it out with the buffer i got everything that was on this hood off and now we're going to apply you have to do the prep work in order for the product to last so let's get right into it so it says in the directions wash and dry car shake well for best results do not over apply high active formula use two sprays per panel spread and wipe with a clean folded microfiber cloth use a separate microfiber cloth to remove fold cloth as needed and it says for best performance paint should be free of oxidation and surface contaminants clay and polish first if needed and you can apply a second coat for up to 12 months of protection so let's do it you guys may think that was three but that was actually two it took a second because it's a brand new bottle didn't come out on the first uh, spray. Going to apply it nice and easy. Let's flip over. Now I'm going to take my second microfiber. This one is very soft, it's from the rag company, and it's what I usually use when I'm detailing to finish any car. Very smooth already. I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours, and tomorrow we're gonna do the water beating test. One, two. It actually goes on really easy and you could probably get away with doing two sprays for the whole hood like they recommended but I'm always a little more generous with my product even when it's not necessary. Alright now we're going to 
to take our microfiber and we're going to go ahead and wipe it down. Nice. As you guys can see, that's what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna put this car in the garage right behind us for the night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, so we are 24 hours later. Here's what the hood looks like. Different location today. And I'm gonna hit it with the power washer. You can see the water dripping off. A lot of beads all right here and all down. As I said yesterday, the torture test don't mean a lot to me because I keep my car pretty clean and that stuff generally isn't what I use to wash my car. No Dawn dish soap, nothing. Like I said yesterday, the iron, stuff like that, you're gonna get and it's gonna protect you. But this was a quick video. Get those beads here. Same thing with the windshield. Everything's beating up. Take the Griot's towel, give it a wipe. Whole hood is dry on that side. Take a look in the center, give it a wipe down. Very easy to dry. Whole hood is dry. windshield is dry thank you guys very much for watching if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button if you're returning thank you